Is this meta enough for you? Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. So this is the true meta, one-shotting bosses. It sucks, it's boring, and if you're gonna play, quote, the meta builds in this game, this is it. Just go one-tap everything. But it gets worse. It really, it really does. Uh, let's just take a look. First, let's go over the dev loophole. That's what the setup is charmingly named, and it's actually very fitting. It's simple, and a very stupid setup. You use the devouring loop, the worst item in the game, which has a chance of your crits to do four times damage, then you just throw it on a black hole and uh, hope it crits. Yeah, that's all it is, just RNG. Requires no skill. If you have problems dodging or killing bosses, just shoot and reset till it works. It doesn't take that long to show up, shoot a black hole and hope it procs and die and reset. It's probably still faster to do it that way than some people trying bosses on Apocalypse. I mean, this trick is cool, but it can't one-shot all the bosses, right? Apocalypse bosses have more than the 50 to 80,000 life, right? Like, yeah, sometimes, but we can fix that too. If you want to go even deeper into the meta, you can reduce bosses HP by about 30 to 40%, though it does take some setup and a special character, but again, still easy to do. And if you're really, truly trying to go further, well, you might as well. So the game scales based on your gear score. The higher your gear score, the more HP bosses have. So obviously we need to lower the gear score, and we can do that by simply not upgrading our armor. Besides, on Apocalypse, why would you need to do that? You're just going to get one shot anyway. If not you, then the boss will. So we're going to be killing bosses ASAP and hopefully not taking any hits. To set this up, you will need a new character since you can't downgrade your current equipment. Then simply play on normal, run through your adventures, collect all your gear, but don't ever upgrade anything. Normal is easy enough to get through without upgrades, especially if you have all your account bound items from survival and hardcore. You collect your Particle Accelerator from Claviger, go to Courses to get your Devouring Loop, collect your other rings and trinkets you might want, easy peasy. Then you can either run through the campaign and get Guardian Heart to get the Cessnia so you can get the Cryptless Signals for the Labyrinth Armor, or just get a friend to open it up for you and run in and collect the armor. When you pick up armors and equipments, it'll give it to you around the upgrade level of your current gear score, up to about plus 10 or so. So if we collect the Lab Armor with nothing upgraded, it's going to be plus zero armor. Great. Then you just get your friend to take you into the Nightmare and Hardsguard fight so you can skip the entire campaigns, get the traits from the bosses, and then yeah, you pretty much should be okay. If you want to go above and beyond, you can simply spend a few hours on the PC save manager, check your worlds, collect all the equipment on normal adventures without upgrading, and then once you do this, you're pretty much set. You've got a gear score 1 or 2 probably character with everything you want. So now that you have all your equipment, you just upgrade the guns. If you upgrade only a long gun to plus 10 or plus 20, then your gear score will be around 9 to 11. And if you upgrade long guns and handguns, you should be around 13 to 15 range. Either works, do what you want to do. Now you can have a co-op player sell their materials in Ace at the ward if you're not generating iron for your upgrades. Since iron generation is based on your current gear score level, you may have a hard time collecting iron to upgrade your gear you know, to the 15 to 19 range, but really, no biggie, just have someone sell their stuff for you and you can buy it. With the character now having no upgraded armor and a lower gear score, your bosses will have significantly lower life and now we can do what we couldn't do before and just one tap all the bosses. Hardy included, no one cares. So yay! So what's next? Are you thinking, well you're just resetting for devouring loop RNG, that's cheating, blah 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 blah. Well, yeah, exactly. That's true meta. RNG resets. Funnily enough, you don't even need to do this. Other builds like Radiant Swarm and Shotguns could probably melt bosses faster than the time it takes to use the black hole. It's just funny to one-shot bosses. Then you're probably thinking, oh, well, you're intentionally lowering your gear score to make the game easier. Yeah, exactly. It can be easily done, and if you're trying to go super hardcore, why not? Are you saying I should intentionally handicap myself by giving them bosses more HP? Well, okay, fine, then why not just handicap myself further and not have any gear? And if that's too far, then what's gonna please you? Look, the point I'm trying to make here is that there is no point in trying to be a meta slave in this game, because this is what you get. You should play with builds that you find are enjoyable. I only really play this game on Apocalypse to do videos and builds and stuff to give other people ideas for what they might enjoy. It's for alternatives to the super meta, because this shit is stupid and it probably won't ever get removed. It's also why I tend to only play survival instead of other game modes now. Survival is great, it's tons of fun. 
Also, grats to Yeats Me Mario, who got his 101 streak on survival today after they had made it harder on this DLC. So good job, sir. It's a 15 hour run. You're a fucking madman. Anyway, Remnant is still a lot of fun, but if you get caught up in trying to be like super into the meta, you're not going to enjoy the game anymore because this is where you end up. So please just try to enjoy this game. I hate seeing people fret too much over, well, this is the best build, this build's trash, this is better, blah, 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 blah. If you're going to go to the max, do it. If not, you might as well have fun.